This is the Rocket Vulcan TKL Compact Gaming Keyboard. It's one of the newest gaming keyboards from Rocket and it has a couple of interesting features that I'm gonna go over in this video. But first up, let's talk about the design. The first thing I noticed when I picked up this keyboard was how solid it feels. It doesn't feel like a cheap keyboard. It has a nice premium feel to it. It has a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, not too light. And on the back, there's rubber grips. So you don't gotta worry about this keyboard sliding on your desk when you're gaming. I really like that you can see the mechanical switches on the bottom of the keycap, and it definitely stands out from other gaming keyboards out there. One of my favorite features of this keyboard is the volume dial, which is located on the top right hand corner of the keyboard. It has a little bit of a clickiness to it when I use it, and it's really handy if I'm listening to music or if I'm gaming, I want to be able to quickly turn down the volume. I can do that without taking out my headset, and right next to it is a mute button. And that is a great way for me to turn down the music without thinking about it. I just react, hit the button, and I can be aware of what's going on around me. On top of the keyboard, you'll see a USB Type-C port that is for connecting it to your PC. This is not a wireless keyboard, so you need a USB-C cable to connect it to your PC. I love that it uses a USB-C cable, so I don't gotta worry about finding the right cable for this keyboard. It's the same cable that my phone uses and most of my other devices use, so that is really handy. And of course, if the keyboard breaks or it becomes non-responsive, I can always just put in a new cable. Now we are in the Rocket Swarm app. As you can see on the top, I got my Vulcan TKL keyboard hooked up. And I'm also using my Elio Air headset. So you can see that right here. I can control the settings for both of these devices with this one program. So you're going to need the Rocket Swarm app to customize this keyboard. And if we look over here, you can see general features. The first thing you see is that you can change the sound effects for when you're typing on the keyboard. So if you want it to sound like a typewriter, in your headphones, you'll hear a typewriter sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my headset, but I'm going to go ahead and try. I am going to go ahead and apply it. And let me s if I turn the volume up, maybe you might be able to hear it. Let me turn the volume up all the way. Okay, so you should be able to hear a typewriter sound. And you can change it to a clicking sound, a beam sound, and a sci-fi sound. The sci-fi sound is terrible. It is very distracting. I don't know who would want to put that on there. But you have that option if you're crazy like that. You can change the character repeat over here. You can change the repeat delay, the repeat rate, and the cursor blink rate. Now let's go ahead to key alignment. Even though this keyboard has no dedicated macro buttons, you can still change any button on this keyboard to whatever function you want. And you can see over here on my macros, I don't have any macros set. But you can click over here and see basic functions. So I can remap any button to almost anything I want. I don't think I'm going to be doing this, but it's there. You can do it if that's what you care about. This comes in handy if you want quick access to certain Windows functionalities. Like you can see over here, I can put my PC to sleep. I can log off and I can do all sorts of things. Just like with the headset I reviewed with this app, you can really spend some time customizing this keyboard however you want. And you can spend a decent amount of time exploring all your options. It looks like you have eight options for RGB lighting on this keyboard. You got AMO Intelligent Lighting System, which pretty much goes through all the colors and it synchronizes the lighting with all your other rocket devices like I have right now. Wave. Snake. Fully Lit. Heartbeat 2.0. Breathing 2.0, Fade FX, and Ripple FX. You can also do custom mode, which allows you to change the RGB lighting on every keycap. So if you want a specific lighting setup, you can do it with this mode. You can have just the WASD keys light up for when you're playing a first person shooter, the arrow keys, or you can go crazy and put it however you want. So for the past few days, I've been using this keyboard as my main keyboard, and I gotta say, it's pretty solid. I like that the keycaps are fingertip shaped, so it makes it easier to type. It's a little bit awkward because I go between different keyboards, obviously my phone, and my main keyboard before was the Keychron K2, which I have right here. I still love this. So as you can see with this keyboard, this one is more like an old school type of keyboard, but it's Bluetooth, so I like that about this one. This one is not Bluetooth. As I said before, this keyboard uses the red switches, which are fast and they're responsive. And just for fun, let's do a sound test of two other keyboards that I have.
So that's a little bit of sound test with this little Bluetooth speaker that has a little keyboard on it, but these are real blue mechanical switches and you can hear it. The blue switches are more clicky um, and very loud and kind of annoying. This one is still loud, but they're fast and they're responsive and they're not as loud and it's not as clicky, but it's very satisfying to type on. As I mentioned before, the keycaps are fingertip shape, so that helps with typing and gaming. But if you don't like it, you can change the keycaps to however you want. I have these HyperX white keycaps. They're pretty awesome. I wouldn't put it on this keyboard, but I'm just showing you guys right now that you could put it there if you want. All right, that about does it for my review on the Rocket Vulcan TKL compact gaming keyboard. I will definitely talk about this keyboard more in future videos. My next video is gonna be on the new gaming mouse from Rocket. So that means I'm gonna pretty much review all their new products. I already reviewed the Elio Air surround sound wireless gaming headset. That video is already up. You guys should go ahead and check that out. In fact, I'm gonna put it up somewhere in one of those little pop-up windows. So in the comments below, be sure to let me know what you guys think about this gaming keyboard. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechGeekNelson.